is official higodontism I love. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'll always say this, but the way he says irregular is freaking amazing. Like, I've never heard anybody say irregular with with such passion. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. I love it.
because that was official higadams i love what i love about official higadamism uh satoshi is that that's correct uh his uh what's the word the way they vocalize and the way they all harmonize together in fact uh, it's like there's a weird like metallic sound to it that sounds like uh what's the word like uh, what's the group called steampunk Vegapunk, Daft Punk, Daft Punk. It's like this weird new talk sound that they have too. And there's something about that. It's like it's it's uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's it's a it's a lonely sound, but there's so much warmth to it. I don't know what it is, but whatever I hear like these like metallic sounds, like so it's not really out of tune, but like it's literally like like m- metallic sound added to like a person's voice. I feel a very weird sense of loneliness, but warmth inside. I don't know why, but uh, it's just a great sound. But what do you guys think? I love this song so much. I don't know what it is, but officially, I just all their songs have always been amazing to me. Um, I don't think I've, re- I've really reacted to a lot of their songs, but I always watch all the music videos constantly. Uh, the one I watched the most recently was uh, it's the one with uh, the hand signals, hand signs. Uh, I forget what it's called, but I don't know. That was, <laughs> I was the name, but it was one where uh, the girl was skating. On the ice, but I forget what the, what the music video was called. But that one was like a really great one. Um, but yeah, that music video was really nice. I watched that music video a lot actually. <laughs> if you remember the name. Um, but yeah, man, it's a great song. Um, what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy it? Like, you know, I did not write it. All right, on to the next song, which is uh, Yorushika. This was actually a recommendation, Hitchcock. Uh, but yeah, this is one they said that they really enjoy a lot. So I uh, think the lyrics are on i don't know if it's uh, english or not yes it is all right perfect 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 uh so i get to enjoy the lyrics along with the music video so here we go three two one go my god these lyrics yo <laughs> that got to me immediately bro <laughs> that got to me oh man it's just like it's it's like yes i always what always feels like it's like crying whenever people laugh I guess like sometimes they're not even laughing at me, but it is there's some weird pain you feel inside. Like, oh, like, well, are, they, are they laughing at me? You know what I mean? And I always, always, I don't know, I've always been neurotic about that, but it's always been something I've always been aware of. But now as I've gotten older into adulthood, it actually matters so little to me. But when I was a kid, man, oh, that, used to, that used to hurt me so much. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, let me go back to the beginning. Or does the set of rain make me feel nostalgic? Yeah, I'm hard. I don't know why, but whenever like summer is starting, or like whenever it's uh, winter time, not winter time, we're going into school school uh, semester in the fall. Like I'm like my heart palpitations are like insane. I'm like, oh, this is coming, it's coming. Like, when I was young, man, that's, that used to, like, get to me so often, man. I used to have so much jitters about this, this the beginning of each new season. Literally, new season, every new season, my heart was, like, always, like, all right, here we go, next new season, new, new me. <laughs> but it always was the same, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's so true. It's like a lot of your life, you're really just on that vibe of like, I, I just wish someone would tell me what to do next, you know what I mean? As you grow up, and you just, you really don't know sometimes. And sometimes, sometimes you see kids with their plans, their life planned out from like step one to step 100, and you feel so like, 
I don't have that. I, I, I don't have my life planned out like that. You know, maybe, maybe I'll have the next step planned out in like a month, but I don't have that next step even ready right now. And like, it's always so, like you always, oh, my earphone's about to die. <laughs> but like, you always, you always just feel so, uh, uh, you always feel, what's the word? Not jealous, but almost unprepared. You feel very unprepared whenever you see other kids just ready for that next step in their life. And like, it's it's a tough man. It's a tough man. And you want somebody to tell you what to do next, but they're like, I, I can't help you. You have to figure that out for yourself. And that's always been so, it's always been a tough thing because it's true. You really do need to know what you want because if, if even if someone tells you what to do, that might not be something that you like personally. You know what I mean? Sure, man. <laughs> I'm talking so much. This, this one's getting to me very much. It's like they're speaking to my soul, you know. Um, but yeah, I really, I really do always wonder, like, can I just live a life, just like, just lounging around, just looking at the sun? Cause like personally, I could do that for days on end. Cause I enjoy looking at the sky just in general, and just like glimpse of the sky through the through the blinds in the morning, or like the 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 sunlight passing through in the in this uh, during lunchtime. It's just like. That feels good, you know what I mean? But just to think, like, in, like, the back of your mind, would I really want a life like that? And, like, sometimes you realize that's not the life you want. You want a life that has meaning. You want a life that 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 even if it meant nothing to everyone around the world, it meant something to you, you know what I mean? And that's all that really matters. But that, but that's so true. <laughs> uh, but that's so true. I've always wondered, like, why do good people die young, but then old, like, bad, evil people live for years on end, going into old age? And it's like, I always thought of it like this, right? It's it's uh, it's karma, right? Sometimes we take we take out the a good person young, and then the old person, the bad person, lives old, and then sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes the bad person gets taken out young and the good person lives forever and i think that's just there's some sort of universal balance out there where like there just can't be too much good in the world it's weird but it's true it's too much good is this this is not what the world it's not it's not, it's not what this universe wants i don't know why That is interesting. Now think, look at that line right there. Think about this. Is it self us to just want to relive memories, right? But you're also saying life isn't fun for you. Right? I mean, it's it's very painful. What memories do you want to relive? Think about that. I love that little pause right there when she asks Sensei, what was your dream? And it just goes to him and he just 
just a blank emptiness there and he kind of realized like even he had a dream that maybe he they had a dream that even they could not fulfill and it's uh it's kind of sad to imagine that you know what i mean that like so there's someone that has a life fully lived that has a dream they they, they could not reach you know what i mean there's something very bittersweet about that that they've lived a full life but there's, there's a dream that never they never got a chance to achieve and it's uh, That's and oh man, that was a great song. I loved it so much. Great, great um, discussion they brought brought out on me. I really do enjoy great lyrics, that um, but yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed the recommendation. That was thank you. That was beautiful. Got, got a little teary eyed at the beginning, but pulled it together in the end. That's how I do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go on to the la- next song, which will be I think I have two more songs left. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So I have Queen. I don't know if I can get the last song, but I'll try it too, if I can or not. All right. This one is Queen. Somebody to love. Live, Montreal, 1981. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. What a seven-minute song. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Let me go back to this. All right. Let me see. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to subscribe below. Justin.